Welcome to another exciting episode of Digital Passion. Technology is one of the biggest breakthroughs of the 21st century. And as time goes by, this breakthrough continues to advance towards tech gadgets that are less bulky, aesthetic, stylish, and has even more functions. Yeah, and you know, these gadgets, they don't come cheap. Uh, take, for example, the Galaxy S series, uh, the iPhone series, and the MacBook, and yes, uh, the new camera from Sony and Panasonic. They don't come cheap, we know that. This week on Digital Passion, Amy, very cheap Amy, goes digital. And Betty explores cheaper technologies out there. And I'll be exploring technology for a bargain. And Betty being cheap and yet very classy. You know how when new gadgets uh, or phones or laptops are released with all tons of features, they aren't really different from, you know, the older models? Or sometimes are way better. Yeah, and you know, people are subtle coaxing to uh, abandoning the old gadgets for these new ones. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's not even just about these gadgets. They come so pricey. But on today's episode, we'll be exploring ways on how you can get great gadgets at very affordable prices. Come along now. With the increasing number of consumer electronic manufacturers, there are plenty of options and alternatives available in the market for those who wish to buy a new device. And this is why whenever we decide to buy or purchase a new electronic device, we're overwhelmed by the sheer number of options we have at our disposal and become confused. Whether or not you want to go for the expensive brand names is decided by a limited budget. So, I like the word living rich cheaply. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not a frugal person and I do not like to confuse cost with quality. But many people believe that when they pay a little bit more for something, they get more value than the one with the lower price tag. So, this one is 449. According to the Journal of Consumer Research, a high price indicates either bad value or good quality, whereas low price indicates either good value or poor quality. It goes on to say that consumers usually do not have all the available information on a product, so they use informal and common sense explanations to make that determination, such as price. And I'll say a no, no, no to that. Now, the first rule when buying an electronic device isn't necessarily the brand or the price, but specifications and reviews. And for the TVs I'm going to be reviewing on this segment, I'll be considering the price and the screen size. Have a price point of about 70,000 Naira and a screen size of 32 inches. And yes, this is a sharp 32 inch uh, TV. It's got superb uh, ultra high definition LED TV. And um, it's just got one HDMI port, you know, just by the side. I like this fact because I don't have to start fiddling underneath here to, you know, to plug my peripherals. They're just right here. And it's got superb sound and uh, an eco friendly screen. So one of the things you see about the shop is 
it's, it's got very rich sound, like the sound is coming right back at you. Oh. And the LED, you know, it's manageable. Not so great, but everything seems to be in place. features of the Sunfrost 32 inch is that it's got a high quality you know ultra HD panel and it's got USB uh, movie it supports USB movie then a thousand three hundred and sixty six by seven six eight megapixel ratio and a contrast ratio of three thousand to one Features a slim LED with a very shiny black, you know, frame. Uh, it's got two HDMI ports, two USB ports, and it's also got a 3D combo filter. Amazing. I mean, the sound is not as great as the scan frost, but for 50,000 Naira, that's a bargain. So guys, what's the verdict, yeah? I like the shot. 32 inches for about 48,000 Naira, which is about the cheapest in my review. Uh, but again, I do not like the fact that I just have one in my socket on the side. The sound is rich, you know, it comes back at you. And then you have the Royal, the Royal at 32 inches. Your mobile device might have cutting edge specs and a slick design, but if you don't have the right apps, you're missing out. And you'll be amazed how much these apps can save you. An ordinary app like My Fitness Pal can save you thousands of gym money and a trainer fee. It coaches you on how to lose weight and keep healthy. It also motivates you. It provides support and guidance on keeping calories off the healthy way. With its comprehensive library of nutritional information and more than 350 exercise suggestions. It also helps you set goals and connect with friends who use My Fitness Pal so you can cheer each other on. The app creates details reports of your progress. There is no better way to begin your day than with a healthy kind of exercise charged at absolutely nothing. No one
one wants to spend more money than is necessary on something, particularly if you can get it for free. Adoption of new technologies often flows from the personal use of these technologies. The ability to download an app in seconds, share photos and data via the cloud in real time and communicate from any location at any time have evolved from nice to have to need to have. Consider that the average office worker goes through about 10,000 sheets of paper per year, which means that at an estimated cost of 1,000 Naira per case of paper, businesses are spending over 10,000 Naira on paper each year on each worker. Not only is this very expensive, but a whopping 70% of businesses will fail in three weeks should something catastrophic happen to paper due to fire or flood. Comment and consider how much you spend on newspapers daily and then annually. Do the maths. I'm sure the figure isn't three digits anymore. Then consider how much you'll be saving by using simple mobile apps like LinkedIn Pulse and Flipboard. LinkedIn Pulse organizes your favorite feeds into an attractive grid style interface that makes it easy to keep up with the headlines using a custom feed of all your favorite sites and topic areas. Pulse also ties into your LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Flickr, and Tumblr accounts. But when you have a few more minutes to spare, you can cruise through Flipboard because it offers a more well-rounded and frequently updated overview of breaking news. You don't have to wait for tomorrow's paper to be updated on happenings around the world. It's only some buttons and a click away from you. You would agree with me that integrating mobility into core applications that you or your business uses every day, such as the Dropbox, Sales Ball, with mobile data collection capabilities, you can fill out information anywhere and have that information stored securely in the cloud. And that is a huge cost savings as a normal four drawer filling cabinet costs from 5,000 Naira to over 50,000 Naira, all depending on the type and quality. With the mobile data collection capabilities, you can even collect an expanded set of information beyond text through image capture, barcode scanning, a signature and GPS. Coming up, your tech lovelies discuss options out there for technology on a bargain. Amy looks at cheaper alternatives to communication, and Betty looks at affordable smartphones. I pray I don't disappoint you. Smile, please. It's a passport, Betty, and it's not meant to be fine. It's either there's too much headroom or no headroom at all. Come on, Betiana, you can do this. Just do it. Great. Yes, now we're talking. With the free Snapseed app, you don't need to worry whether your phone shoots brilliant high-resolution photos or mediocre snapshots. Snapseed makes it easy to do a lot more than just basic sizing, rotating, and cropping. It has seven different filters, including black and white, vintage and grunge, that can add a dose of style or make your brand new photo look like you took it on an old-school camera. I know talking about all these apps will make you conclude I am frugal. Unlike Fola, I admit I am frugal. I only care about value. I mean, a Kobo saved is a Kobo earned. Have you stopped to consider how much money apps like Skype and WhatsApp are saving you or have saved you? A whole lot of money. For those people out there who still believe in a traditional way of calling and texting, hello, a text costs at least four naira. Meaning, if I have to tell a loved one how my day went, I'll be spending close to 100 naira and more if I have to call them. Sure, you can send messages using your phone's regular messaging service, 
but only a full featured app lets you send richer contents, e.g. send location info, fun stickers, etc. With WhatsApp, you can chat with over 250 people in a group, organize reunions, etc. And when it gets too much for you and you just can't deal with it anymore, you can leave the group or mute as long as you want. And with the status option, you can let your friends know when to back off and just leave you alone. Like I said, a Kobo saved is a Kobo earn. Like me, I hope you intend to save as much Kobo as you can. Now, back to the studio. What? Did you hear what she said? Yes. That I'm not frugal. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not in denial. It's a fact. <laughs> but she looked good working out, right? Really? Oh, come You're on. You're already. A study by researchers from Caltech and Stanford showed that if a person is told that he or she is tasting two different wines and that one costs $5 while the other costs for the $5 when they are in fact the same wine, the part of the brain that experiences pleasure will think he or she is enjoying the more expensive vintage, thereby making the person believe the more expensive wine is of a better quality due to it being more expensive. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to doubt that at all. And I think a good marketing strategy will make a good influence on whether consumers believe a product is too expensive or if it's a quality product. Now, look at Apple products, for example. Consumers will pay a premium for their products. Uh, they've long refused to, you know, lower their prices because lowering their prizes could hurt reputation. Mm, very interesting. But that will be changing soon thanks to the stiff competition from the Android army like them Techno, yeah. Geoni, mm -hmm. Infinix, Injo, etc. And so on. And after the break, we will bring you more tech at very little bargain. I think when people hear the saying, you get what you pay for, what actually comes to mind are cheap goods. We have allowed ourselves to be brainwashed into thinking mm. that the cheaper a good, the lower its quality. We refuse to believe that you can actually buy it right at a low cost. Yes, and while so many people are still in denial, they are actually in fact paying for the name of the brand and not the brand itself. True. Yeah, and you know, instead of uh, buying a product because you already know the brand, oh. try researching the subject. You'll be surprised of so many cheap options, you know, that are outweigh their expensive ones in terms of, you know, performance. Very true. And yeah, Betty Anna, what do you have for us? For less than 35,000 Naira, you can get a very decent phone with main and front-facing cameras. You can also have access to the Google Play and Windows Phone Store to download apps and games. Techno's 7 is the first device of the series. The new Techno K7 for sure targets youth markets that are grilling for a low-budget smartphone with exciting features and spec. Techno K7 is here with superior designs just like the iPhone 7, with unbeatable camera coupled with battery capacity that allows you soft the internet all day. The Techno K7 rear view looks very much like the iPhone 7, especially the metallic red edition. With sleek and functional features that remind us of the iPhone 7 Plus, I would say that this phone is very serviceable. No need to worry about your Instagram pictures as the Techno K7 Spark comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera that has an LED flash that brightens up your pictures even in low light conditions. The battery is super friendlier than the Techno Phantom 6. The new Techno K7 uses a lithium polymer battery tech with a capacity of 3000 mAh which lasts longer than 5 hours with heavy usage. Recently, the company came up with a new line of smartphones called Kika. Thus, the manufacturers want us to think about it like the main product line. For instance, we have the Galaxy for Samsung, Xperia for Sony, Mi for Xiaomi, etc. The Liago Kika Mix is promoted as a 3GB RAM, 32GB ROM dual smartphone that also comes with a 3000 mAh battery. 
So generally, I am satisfied with the look and size of the phone if I take into account that I'm dealing with an ultra budget five inch smartphone. The Liago Kika Mix is a regular low end smartphone. Now what I love about this device is that it completely corresponds to its title. It comes with a large battery ready to provide long and stable life. Plus you get a bonus with the dual camera at the back. With all of these features, I would say that the Kika Mix is a good phone for those who have a slim budget or lower incomes or you simply do not just want to spend much on a smartphone. check dual same check check fingerprint sensor triple check the camera is the highlight of this device as it features a dual front camera now what this means is that you would not be needing a selfie stick to get the full view of your surroundings the 86 degree wide angle lens and the 8 megapixels plus 5 megapixels ensures that you have the perfect grip selfie at the back of the phone we have an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash yes the rear camera offers decent shots, although nothing to be compared to the ITEL P51. It uses the Android version 8.1 operating system and a 1.3 GHZ quad-core processor MediaTek chipset. The internal storage is 16GB and the memory card can get up to 32GB. It makes better physical sense to spend more on a quality item upfront than to spend less and spend more later on repairs and replacements. And yeah, true. That's why you have the internet. Mm -hmm. And like we said earlier on, the internet has flattened the world. You can research any product produced anywhere in the world also. And you can buy anything from any part of the world. When you do a proper research, you will find out that there are generic brands that outperform the big brand names. Lack of information is one reason consumers use price to determine value and quality. And that's where the internet comes in, right? I mean, use it. Consumers need to do more research online before making a purchase. You get so passionate when money is involved. Oh, you have no idea. Check us out on our website at www.digitalpatch.com and don't forget to take charge of those gadgets. Don't let your gadgets take charge of you. Mm-hmm.